So in this video, we are going to look at uh, the discussion the problem 26 in Project Euler. Okay, so okay, the problem is here: double base palindromes. The decimal numbers 585 equals to 10010012 in binary base 2 is palindromic in both cases. So find the sum of all numbers less than 1 million which are palindromic in base 10 and base 2. Please note that the palindromic number in either base may not include leading zeros. So, what is a palindrome? Okay, the palindrome is a string that reads from front and behind are the same. So, yes, this is a this is an example of palindrome. Um, when you read from here, L E V E L. So, from when you read from back, what? L E B L. So this is a palindrome. What about this? So this is not a palindrome because when you read from here R I V E R, but you read from the back side R E V I R. So this is not a palindrome. So for number palindrome, this is the same. Five hundred eighty five one zero one nine nine nine. Nine eight nine seven six three 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 four five five four. So these are the examples for palindromes. Number palindromes. Okay, so your mission is to find sum of all numbers in less than one million, which are palindromic in base two and base ten. Okay, but you have to consider that in this question, leading zero are not accepted. Just right. It's 20. This is a palindrome. But for this question or in number, usually we don't write in 0 to 0. Instead, we write in 2 0. This is not a palindrome. So this is what the question measure about. This is an exception that the question doesn't want to accept. So I have two solutions here. The first solution is both force by both forcing. So this is the palindrome checking function. I use a string, then I convert it to character array so that we have array. So let's see, let's say convert to character. So here is one, sorry, this is zero, or index zero. Okay, so we simply compare the value. If the values are for both sides are different, then we return false. Otherwise, we look on the finish and we found that the values are the same for all the cases, then we return true. So at first we compare zero and four, and then we compare one and three. So the max is here. Zero is let the let zero let i be zero. So the length can be a good uh, operator for here, operand for here. We can use this can use this because when i equals to zero the value here equals to four when i equals to one the value here equals to three and we don't have to care this because this is at the middle what is for the case um, yeah. So this is still the same. Uh, we 
do the same operation but there's optimization here you don't have to look through from i to five because you when you look i to five then the value here will be zero so you are basically doing the same work for twice so for this reason you just have to do it until the half of the size of the array so let's say if this is six so we just do one two three something like that okay so here is the move forcing part we look from one to one million i plus plus so we go from one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to eight until one million so we call and if we convert it to string and check for palindromic if it is a palindrome then we check whether the primary form of that number or the number in base two is palindrome it, if it is palindrome then we add the number to the sum which is here so this is a pretty uh, simple solutions that your time concern is not important so as you can see it's pretty low so i have another solution which uses uh, some kind of caching feature or you can call it as dynamic programming because uh, for a palindromic number the num you can add a number in front and behind to form another palindrome. So from here you don't have to force from one to one million. Instead, you create palindromes and test it for the solution. This is okay. Sorry, this is uh, okay. okay. So first we generate the palindromes for he for here. I create an two D array that stores the palindromes. So the first index stands for the length of the palindrome. Can be two, can be three, can be four, can be five, can be six, can be seven, but not eight because the our maximum value for this case is 1 million because the question states so. So after that, first we create palindrome. This is single digit palindrome. Uh, 1 to 10, sorry, 1 to 9 are palindromes, 10, not, 10 is not. And zero is not because leading zero is not accepted. So this is basically a zero, so we don't care about it. We just start from one until nine, and then we start from eleven until hundred because eleven, twenty, thirty, for eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four, fifty-five, and so on. Um, palindromes. So I put a eleven here. So at here. For digit three, what I can from from uh, the previously found digits. So, in fact, we can use the uh, one the single digit palindrome to form a three digit palindrome because we are basically for adding two 
same numbers at the one at the front and one at the back. So for one, we can put one one, two one two, three one three, four one four, five one five, six one six, so on. And for two, we have one two one. 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, and so on. This is what uh, the codes here do. I times 10, then I times the number of digits. Let's say I have 1, so I times the I add a zero behind it by multiplying with 10 and then I add 1 and here I add 100, 200, 300 by using the log 10 again um, the log 10 and the power but we are not using log 10 because we don't we have already know we have already known the value the number of digits in the number that we want to form so we just use mesh of power and this and it does the work so after that there's an exceptional case that because this is from the first uh, first digit leading zeros is not accepted but at the third the digits when the digit is equal to three so we can form something like this three four four so i have included the case here so this is what my palindrome generated functions does So next, because string is low, so I did a lot of optimization here by using boolean instead of string to check the for the palindrome because I don't have to commit it to string and commit it to character again and it takes time. So this is base to check. Okay, so this function is to call the fun. The this function is basically converting the number to base two and check for the value whether is it a pendulum or not. So I um convert to base two, and the value for base two is stored by using boolean array. So initially, we check for the length of the number when it is converted into base 2. So after knowing the length, we create a boolean array so that we can store the value of base 2. So at here, I use boolean array when the number is 1, I use true. When the number is false, when the number is zero, I use false. So if one million example at here, so my array will be true, 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 false, true, false, 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 true, and so on. So the part here is to convert it the convert the number into base two and filling the body uh, array. After that we do the same things that I have talked earlier about the checking palindrome. The last, the previously I uh, used the palindromic functions to check whether the string is palindrome, but for this time, I use boolean instead of character. So this should make something faster. So if we satisfy this, um, condition then we return true and for this function 
because number is slow so I cash the function for how to power of n so 2 power of 1 2 power of 0 to 2 power of 20 because there are 20 numbers here so we don't have to care about the numbers there's there are more than 20 so this solution is very ex it's extremely fast because it doesn't involve any string and yeah conversions so it took three milliseconds to process and get the value so the answer is the same but this solution is much faster by eliminating the needs of both forcing uh, converting the number into string and the string converted into character and check for the palindrome instead i use a boring array to check for the palindrome of the number in base two and i i start with the um forming of palindromes so i can skip looping through those non-palindromic numbers so this fastens operations a lot so yeah this is that's it for this question so oh yes forgot to okay so yeah this is the same answer here so if you understand this method um, dynamic programming concepts of at here reusing the existing palindrome values and add the numbers to the front and the back so you should use this method otherwise the method can work but it is much slower but it still satisfy the requirement for project dealer which is under one minute uh, limit so yeah this is all for this question so we are looking forward to see you in the next video so yeah see you next time bye bye